Sport utility vehicles are growing in popularity in Germany. Today, we're going to take a close look at the Porsche Cayenne diesel and the Lexus RX 450h. Both models are a bit unusual, although they're very versatile. They don't burn a lot of fuel. Porsche has an efficient diesel under the hood, and the Lexus is a hybrid equipped with an electric engine. We start by examining the exteriors of the two SUVs. The Porsche's windows look more conservative than the much more dynamic design of the Lexus. The large air inlets emphasize the width of the Porsche, while the Lexus is more reserved. Under the hoods of the off-roaders are powerful engines. The Porsche's 3-liter diesel generates 240 horsepower and 550 newton-meters of torque. The Lexus is equipped with a gasoline engine and electric motor, which produce 299 horsepower and 317 newton-meters of torque. From the outside, at least, the Porsche in no way reveals that it's a diesel but underneath, it shows the power it's got. Meanwhile, the Lexus is more reserved. But its rear lights look more modern than its rivals. Both rear hatches can be opened automatically. When it comes to cargo space, Porsche gets the nod. Test driver Stefan has to raise his arm to close the Porsche's hatch, while Torsten can simply press his remote to close the Lexus. Now it's time for the two friends to take a spin. How do they feel on the road? Can the diesel Porsche and the hybrid Lexus convince in everyday driving conditions? When it comes to acceleration, the Lexus has the edge, but the Porsche's maximum speed is 14 kilometers faster than its Japanese rival. Stefan sums up his first impressions of the Porsche. He says that when you get into a Porsche, you expect better handling than in other SUVs, and in this respect, Porsche doesn't disappoint. On the one hand, he says it has a powerful diesel engine, and on the other, it's possible to activate the sport program or the Tiptronic to select the gears manually, making it a lot of fun to drive this car. Now it's time for the Lexus. Torsten says the special thing about this vehicle is its electric motor, which you don't hear while it's running. When he presses the power button, he has to look at the little ready light on the instrument panel to know the car is running. Using only the electric motor, the car can travel at speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour. Torsen says the gasoline engine activates automatically and the change is clearly shown on the gauges. That allows drivers to know when the Lexus is being powered by the electric motor or the gasoline engine. He says the entire design of the Lexus is very elegant. One of the striking things is the number of buttons and instruments. The gauges are very easy to read, he adds. He says it's great that the windshield displays important information like speed. Was wunderschön ist, ist, dass in der Frontscheibe auch die wesentlichen Informationen wie Geschwindigkeit angezeigt wird. It's clear that the Lexus offers a lot of modern technology. But can the Porsche match its competitor's talent? Does its design and technology meet Stefan's expectations? 
He says it features a lot of leather. The entire instrument panel is covered with leather. It has a massive wide center console that blends well with the vehicle, as well as a very good navigation system. He especially likes the fact that drivers can choose either the touchscreen or the buttons. Very little time is needed to understand how to use them. The only drawback, he says, is the low position of the display. Torsten in the Lexus says the menu prompting for the navigation system and radio can be controlled by a small mouse, which is integrated in the center console. A cursor makes it easy to select the various functions. Our test continues with city driving. The hybrid scores points amid conditions with frequent stops and starts. The Lexus burns just 6.3 liters of premium fuel per 100 kilometers, but the Porsche consumes 9.3 liters. However, the Porsche costs around 3,000 euros less than the Lexus. But what would a test of off-roaders be without some off-road action? Both cars shine here. The Lexus has 17.5 centimeters of ground clearance and the Cayenne diesel almost 22 centimeters, making it easy to overcome small obstacles. Drivers can activate the Porsche's reduction gear to overcome slippery surfaces better than the Lexus. Both vehicles perform very well during our test. But what do our test drivers think? Stefan says he drove the Porsche Cayenne diesel and believes that it offers an excellent complete package. On the road, it's very fun to drive, just as you would expect from a Porsche. He says it's agile, sporty, and very fun. And as soon as you leave paved roads, you won't be disappointed, he adds. The car makes a very positive impression. The reduction gear makes it really fun to drive on uneven terrain. His overall impression is very good. Torsen says he's very pleased with the Lexus RX 450h. It combines a very modern design with state-of-the-art technology, such as the hybrid engine. He says it's fun to drive on or off paved roads. He would be delighted to own such a car.